Hi everyone, good afternoon, my name is James and welcome to the Science Decoded Workshop under the Science Buskers 2020 uh, competition, okay? So, um, once again, my name is James, I'm from the Science Center and this, work this workshop is actually brought to you by um, ASTAR, okay, and the Science Center, of course, okay? So, um, hopefully everyone is, fi uh, is fine wherever you are. Okay, and you're receiving this uh, very loud and clear and live. Okay, so um, just to explain, I'm all alone right over here. So I can, I'm just wearing my uh, face shield over here so that everybody can hear uh, um, clearly what I'm trying to talk to you about today. Okay, so now science buskers for, the, for those of you who are just uh who just uh joined this year okay uh this time around is going to be a very special year especially we're in very special conditions so we have adapted our competition to suit the current uh situation okay so but first let's go back to the basic have you heard about the word busker before okay so uh, for those of you you might have seen individuals you know on busy streets they have been um they're performing okay so these are actually buskers okay so if you look at the presentation okay so um what is a busker okay it's uh it's also known as a street performer and who performs usually in areas with high human traffic you might have seen them in um mrt stations uh, along tunnels okay and you might wonder why do these people busk well they you might think that they're all in for the money, but there's actually, these people are very passionate individuals. They just want to share their talents with others, okay? And they want to gain self-confidence as well. Maybe these are budding artists who want to try out their skills in front of a live audience, okay? they Maybe they just want to meet new people. And finally, since it's the social media age we're in right now, most of them would want to have a social media uh, following, okay, or be may, maybe in the future become internet stars or be discovered uh, via the internet and social media, okay? So um, let me give you a let me give you a short um, um, understanding on what is busking, okay? And to to for this one, I would like to show everyone over here a very short video about a busker right here in Singapore, okay? So uh, please take a look at the video. When I was young, I always liked to watch people perform. So I should say that, yes, this is something that I like to do. I enjoy watching people to perform, but I never expect myself to be like them one day. very cruel. Um, people don't plan to come and watch your show. People just happen to stop by. So it's your, it's your part to make them stay, to attract them, and to make them appreciate your art or your performance. Many people still don't understand the culture of buskers. They will think that uh, buskers are people who sometimes they, take, they have nothing better to do and then uh, they don't go and look for a proper job uh, and then they are, not, they are not good, that's why they end up on the street. Yeah, that's the wrong mentality. So you should, you should actually um, stay, stop and see what's going to happen first before you give any comments or any feedback. Busking teaches me to to, to remove your ego. Street, you have to push yourself to the lowest because you have to make people come to you. Initially, I, I do invite some of my friends to come over and watch my shows. But after a while, then I stopped doing that. Simply because um, during my performance and my, my, my private self, it's two different people. I have a performer's roles and I have my own role. So uh, I don't feel very comfortable performing in front of my people who knows me. Ladies and gentlemen, when do you see me throw, catch, post? Everybody go, yay, no clapping. That's not when I go, throw, catch, post. I see many of you doing this. 
Uh. Uh, people behind. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, please don't do that. Let's try one more time, okay? It's a balance in life. So I have I have, I have an energetic part of me, I have a, a, a calm side of me. So it's in a way that uh, I kind of enjoy the, the differences. After I I discovered that performance, I've developed this character for my performance, I'm not shy at all when I perform on the script because I know that that's my character, that's my role, that's my job. Uh, if, if I try to make a fool out of myself, like I try to clown around, that's okay because that's different for me. <laughs> So, I hope you liked uh, the video about a busker wheelie, okay? So, um, I hope you've learned uh, an insight on what what is it like to be a busker, okay? So, now, we were thinking that imagine if students would have the confidence and the creativity of a busker, but then infuse a little bit of science in them. So, that's why the Science Buskers competition actually came about, okay? So, now... What is science busking? If you could refer to the um, to the slides once again, okay. So what is science busking? Well, um, we want to engage science correctly, okay. It's a perfect balance between science communication as well as performance, okay. Find something new, find something cool, and new ways of presenting, okay. So uh, technically, this is science busking is the wow and at the same time the how as well. So we've got a few aims, objectives for this uh, science buskers, okay? So first is to generate a greater vibrancy and interest in, bus, uh, in science communication and busking as well. We want to promote learning of science in a fun and engaging way and raise awareness about, uh, about science. And finally, and most importantly, we want everyone to have fun doing this as well. So right now, Next, we, we're, I'm going to show you a short video of, is this really real? Can I like, can I like grow up and become a science busker? Well, there's a science busker that I know uh, in the UK, and I'm going to show you a very sh a short video about him, okay? So please uh, take a look at this. This thing has been breaking the sound barrier for 7,000 years. It's been happening as long as the world existed. Okay, and I've got some stuff. Nice. Whoopee cushion, a mega farter. It's a tiny whoopee cushion, isn't it? I want to show you the extremes of science. One, two, three, go. The second largest whoopee cushion on earth. Beautifully done. Now Robin's gonna sit down on this just like it's a normal chair. You lot are gonna watch the business end here and see what happens, you know, see what we get. Heel to heel, bum to bum, back to back, and land! Still outside. Now we're right on my nose. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Now have a look, you know, there's a big difference in our sizes, but well, let's see what happens. Turn to the person next to you, say hello, and do the same thing. Do it that this while I count to 20 seconds. Three. Ah. It's got to be thumb to thumb, little finger to little finger. Mississippi one, Mississippi two. I don't much look like a sumo wrestler really, do I? And rub up and down, just like I'm doing now. I just want you to consider actually doing this in the name of science. A sumo wrestler. Does that feel a bit weird? Does that feel a bit odd, a bit strange? Yes, yes, we have a nod here, we have a nod here, and we have a nod there. Mississippi 3, Mississippi 4, Mississippi 5, 
Mississippi 6. Hey, fresh! Fresh Mississippi 90, Mississippi 20s. So that my centre, all of this stuff can move from all the way over here to all the way over here and I don't fall over. Stop! Stop! And I'm down! <laughs> you tire a tiny bit of your brain out so that when you look at the heads, you've not got your whole of your brain there, a little bit tired and not working quite properly. And that gives you the illusion. You got a head expanding experience there. We blew somebody's head up like I promised you we would. <laughs> but that uh, wasn't your season job. It wasn't for you getting. Hey, give our little cheers around the floor. That was beautifully done. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that very short uh, video about science busking. Okay, so I hope you got ideas right now on, on what to do. You can see him, he has, he has costumes, uh, he's engaging the crowds, um, he's uh, doing some audience participation. Okay, so, but um, I'm, I'm sure you have a lot of questions right about now. Okay, but hold on to them. We're going to have a question and answer portion right at the very end of this live stream okay so if you could refer again back to the uh, presentation okay so let me just go through the details of this competition shall we so so who can join well um if you're seven years old and above you can take part in the competition now i know parents uh you you might want to ask what if my Six years old so uh and but he's very good in science busking he has he has been he has been uh, training for this competition all his life well please write to us and then we can actually um you know we will we can actually work things out okay so but again generally it's seven years old and above okay and you can participate individually or in a team of up to three members okay so there are different stages to this competition and stage one is obviously registration. Okay, and registration ends on the 19th of June, 2020. Okay, so um, you've got uh, two days. Okay, and you've got two days to register if you are um, willing to take part in this competition. Okay, now there are different categories. There's primary, there's secondary, and finally there's tertiary and even an open category okay so registration details are right in front of your screen and there's a qr code there's a link uh don't worry don't don't get your papers and pencils right now okay we're gonna send them to you okay after this um uh live stream now the second phase of the uh competition is happening um uh, right now it's supposed to be in the previous years it's odd it's the audition round okay and what what's going to happen uh, in in previous years the auditions round would be teams would come to a location uh, like the science center or um or somewhere nearby okay and then they set up their booth they set up their staff and they will have to perform live science busking in front of judges okay but since these are special times so for this year especially for this year okay this pandemic year we are, you are, you're gonna only submit to us videos of your performances, okay? So, um, you, um, we used to, the deadline for that one would be, used to be on the 8th, but due to popular demand, we actually extended it all the way to 17th of July, 2020, okay? So please take note, if you want to participate, you've got until the 17th of July, 2020 to submit your video. Now, each team has to submit one video one four minute video about this about science busking okay so it's just like performing but without the live audience just in front of the cam you're just performing right right in front of the camera okay so that is the audition round and more information about the audition round if you could refer to the uh presentation okay so for shortlisted teams we you will be informed on the 29th of july okay and there will be an online voting for shortlisted teams um uh, for people for the general public to vote their favorite science busking video okay so just take a look at the slide okay and now 
The third stage would be the final busking round. Okay, now normally, previous years, the final busking round would be really in a public location, maybe at a mall, okay, where there's, re where there's a general public, okay, it's to give our, our finalists a sense of science busking. But again, since this year is a very special year, uh, our final rounds will still be done uh, using video submissions, okay? But we're going to be holding a masterclass. Uh, for those who are sh for those shortlisted teams on the second week of August, so that will be between the 10th to the 14th of August. And after that one, you will have to submit your videos, okay? After the master class, latest by 28th of August, 2020. Okay, so please take note of the dates in case uh, uh, you miss it. Okay, so the results for the top prizes will be announced on the 18th of September, okay? So, here's a short summary of the revised format. Uh, these are the different stages. You can take a look at the presentation right there, okay? So, stage one, registration, deadline uh, on the 19th, okay? And two days, uh, then we've got the workshops, which is happening right now, okay? And then audition rounds, and finally, the final rounds. And the winners will be announced 18th of September this year, 2020. Okay, so your videos will be judged according to this criteria right over here. 35% science communication, very important, okay? So the audience, uh, the judges must... Uh, must uh, understand the signs that you're trying to uh, communicate using your four minute video. 35% showmanship, okay? How you engage the, and in the interest uh, and excite your audience even through video. And finally, 30% for all the setup, the costume, and the overall look of your four minute presentation. Okay, so that is the judging criteria. Now, these are the attractive prizes awaits, that awaits the winners. So the champion will be a $500 cash. So first runner-up will be a $400 cash prize. Second runner-up, $300 um, cash prize. And finally, remember that vo voting, uh, video voting online? Okay, that will be the voter's choice will be $100 cash for each team and each category, okay? And finally, there's the judges' awards. Of course, um, the judges. Uh, I have been a judge at the at the science buskers in the past few years, and there is there are some teams that you know, like they they displayed something very uh, creative that they deserve an award. So this is the judges' award. Um, this is not final, okay? These are all tentative, okay? But we will, we will give up to five prizes for primary, three prizes for secondary, two prizes for tertiary and open category, okay? But this is not final, okay? It, it's all dependent on the judge's discretion. So, th these are some more guidelines regarding uh, busking and also your video submissions, okay? So, um, safety is very very important okay I cannot say very enough okay so, and especially with this uh with this uh um pandemic situation that's happening right now we don't know that some of you might be even doing your your videos at home so just in case these safety gui guidelines are in place first liquid nitrogen is not allowed regardless of the situation i know the phase two is coming up maybe some of these companies will be open will be opened and then maybe your schools can get them but just for safety reason liquid nitrogen is totally out okay and again some of you might be doing this video at home and we do we, we don't want to encourage if you have open flames or flammable gases used during during your demonstrations okay um only over-the-counter chemicals and materials are allowed and there is this uh, uh, dry ice is, is, uh, is available, okay? If some of you are ordering, if you order ice cream, cakes, and all those things, you might, be, you might have access to dry ice. And if you happen to have your hands on dry ice, please use the correct gloves, okay? So let me just uh, give you the example. Now, it's not, 
It's not good enough that you need to wear gloves, you have to wear the proper gloves. For example, dry ice is solid carbon dioxide, it's very cold, minus 76 degrees Celsius. And these are the, f the type of gloves you should be wearing. They are highly, they are, they are insulated gloves to protect your hands from the cold, okay? If you use this type of gloves, rubber gloves, they're actually dangerous for you, okay? This, is, this, this should only be used uh, for uh, handling of uh, household chemicals, okay? Household, um, in, in speaking about household chemicals, okay, if you're using hydrogen peroxide for any chemical reaction or experiment, okay, please, uh, no more than 3%, okay? Uh, hydrogen peroxide, okay? So that, those are the safety regulations. So please take note of them. So now moving on to the video submission details. This is very important, okay? Because um, all of this, all of the, your performances will be judged based on your video. So what can you submit? So once again, four minute video, one video per team. Busking on, on any STEM uh, topic, okay? And the challenge is to explain a STEM concept in everyday language and making it fun and engaging as well. So th these are the rules, okay? Now, background music or sound effects are allowed, okay? But if your demonstrations involves uh, sound, it will be very it will be most encouraged if you prevent uh, you don't have any sound effects so that your uh, demonstration will be will be very distinct okay and um of course um try to make sure that all background noise in your in your video is also kept at a minimum okay so that we can clearly hear your uh, demonstration if it involves sound okay now all videos that contains obscene provocative objectionable or otherwise inappropriate content will be automatically disqualified okay so please make sure um, um, uh, you, uh, you, you ask your teachers to review you ask your parents to review okay the, that everything in your video is a-okay and not violating any of the rules so some more guidelines. What is not permitted? Animation is not allowed. Okay, so I know you guys have been uh, home-based learning. You've been learning new skills over the past few months. Okay, and you might be masters in uh, video editing uh, with animation, all these things. Okay, but please, uh, uh, it's not allowed in this uh, competition. Okay, now what's not allowed again is voiceover. Okay, so voiceover would be you just put a presentation slide, swipe, or and then you just talk. Okay, that is not allowed with all of your um, demonstration done on the on a presentation or something. Okay, so uh, that is not allowed. All videos must not be created with professional assistance. Okay, as far as we know. Okay, and adults, participants are allowed to... Uh, Non-participants are allowed as fringe or calafare extras, or maybe the cameraman, if you, if for maybe if just one person, okay, uh, calafare or an adult can uh, do the ca uh, videoing for you, okay, but uh, not content contributors, okay. So uh, the content must be all be um, uh, pro uh, conceptualized, and the ideas are from the team members, okay. So here are the video submission, some more video submission guidelines with, in terms of IP rights, okay? So uh, please read them carefully. I'm not gonna go through them one by one, but please make sure you read all of these guidelines and agree to them uh, before joining this competition, okay? Now, now you have your videos and you're satisfied with them after so many takes, now is to submit your videos. How do you submit? Well, students are required to upload their videos on YouTube, set as unlisted, and submit the video links to your school coordinator, okay? And 
please bear this in mind this is very important okay on youtube the format of the title of the video should be your school name and then the team name okay so for example science center primary the sounders something like that okay so this is the format uh, please double check with your coordinator and let them double check with the organizers as well with us that your school name and your team name match okay because over the years we I've, I've got um this is the wrong school name we change our school name our, our our team name okay so make sure your 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 team name is final and it matches the videos that you're submitting okay so to prevent any confusion now submissions by schools all school coordinators are required to collate all the video links in an excel sheet we will provide you later on and submit to the following email address okay so it's upstream at science.edu.sg or marcus underscore fa at science.edu.sg okay so um don't worry we'll be providing you the links after this uh, video live okay it looks like this is this is the video template and make sure you um follow them accordingly okay So let's head on over to um, your demonstrations or the science busking, okay? So first and foremost, once you huddle up in a team, get this, you must create a proper mindset, okay? So I've been, uh, I've been doing science presentation for the past 13 years at the Science Center and you, the mindset is really, really important, okay? So make sure that uh, the, one of the things I tell myself is that my audience is seeing me for the first time, so I must do my best. And for you guys, um, maybe um, you might think that it's a lecture demo. So this is not a lecture demo, okay? Um, you only have four minutes. You don't have the luxury to say a lot of content and a lot of scientific stuff, okay? It must be very quick and fast. So it's not a lecture demo. This is not a science experiment assessment wherein, oh, I will now mix liquid A to liquid B and voila. Okay, so please uh, just be natural. Okay, it's not a, like a, an assessment. Okay, and on the other end of the spectrum, okay, I have seen teams that have been doing drama for three, three and a half minutes. And then finally, did a science uh, science experiment okay so that's not the way to go okay you must find the proper balance and it's also not an assembly talk so what should be your mindset your mindset should be first you must share your love for science okay show off your cool demonstration this, this is the time to show off the cool stuff that you know or you experience or some stuff that you are dying to, le to learn and innovate and show to everyone or to the world, okay? Create cool and science videos, okay? That must be your mind. I need to create cool and science videos. Who knows? You're, you, you might learn skills that will be very, very useful in the future, okay? And most importantly, you must have fun, okay? When you're having fun, we judges, we can really see it through your videos, okay? So, choose a topic in STEM, okay? So, for example, me, okay? I'm a trained engineer. So, my, my, I'm more inclined to the physical science uh, demonstrations, okay? Um, it's, just, uh, it's just my expertise, okay? So, I tend to um, stay within that one, keeping the rest of the, of the STEM topics into a minimum. But that could also mean that... I will be very, very interested if you show me some chemical demonstrations or maybe even um, life science demonstration. Okay, this is very, very rare in science busking. But also for those of you who are also physical science enthusiasts, I'll be looking forward to new ways of how you present age-old concepts in physics. Okay? Now, choose the demonstration that you are passionate about to share with your audience. Okay, so let me show you a very um, small thing that I'm really passionate about. I like sci-fi movies, you know, those space things, space battles, okay. I know they're not scientifically accurate sometimes, but here is one very cool experiment that you might have seen before, okay. Let me just 
bring out. Okay, so here we go. This is a metal slinky over here. I'm sure you've seen this before. Now normally, in normal circumstances, this demonstration um, requires an individual to try out this, uh, this uh, demonstration. Like, I've got two strings over here. You need to call your two fingers, like so, and then place it in your ears, like this. Okay? Now, you would tell the individual, okay, sir, now that you've, you've placed your fingers into your ears, you need to bob up and down so that you stretch the slinky and let it touch the floor. Okay, so ready? Here we go. And then the, the audience or the participant's face will just light up because he is hearing something very special and unique. But of course, the rest of the audience doesn't know what he's hearing. So, for something that I'm passionate about, how can I share this experience with everyone? Very simple. This concept is all about sound. The spring right over here is uh, producing a very unique sound, okay? And sound is just vibrations through a medium. Right now, the medium is through my, the string and my fingers connecting directly to my ears. But how do I make it uh, accessible for everyone? So sound, since sounds is all about vibration, those vibration pushes the air until it gets to the audience's eardrums. Their eardrums vibrate at the same time. So we just have to find a way to make those vibrations strong enough for everyone else to hear. So in comes the normal styrofoam cup okay so this cup will act as my speaker or resonance chamber if you want place it right on top right here okay and let's see if you can hear what this slinky is actually producing when it bounces off the ground ready three two one here we go Can everybody hear that? What does it sound like? Does it sound like boosters? Epic space battles? Right! So, there is something cool and as well, there's a lot of science behind it. Okay? So, let me just put this one away. Now, if you could refer back to the slides, okay? So, choose the demonstrations. Again, choose the demonstration that you are passionate about to share with your audience, okay? Now, you must master and improve on the presentation of the demos and keep the demos engaging yet video friendly, okay? So, how do you make your uh, demonstrations engaging and video friendly? Here are some more tips right over here, okay? So, you can see it at the presentation right there, you have the use of red, readily available items, okay? Use natural emotion, suspense, okay? Audiovisual yet video friendly, and finally, camera contact, okay? So I'm gonna show you a series of demonstrations right now, okay? Hopefully it will give you ideas and spark further. Uh, you can try it out and maybe innovate, okay? So, for example, the use of everyday materials. What are everyday materials? Oh, by the way, I have something over here. Okay, so this is your normal sculpting balloons. Okay, they're available in, I've seen them in 7-Elevens, okay, or your convenience shops. They're practically open right now. Okay, so these balloons are very good at, um, we can literally explain about uh, a lot of things using these balloons okay so one very important thing is that um, these balloons they are very good at explaining what we call static electricity okay so what is a static electricity well what we cannot see all over us there are actually positive and negative charges okay so if there's an imbalance of positive and negative charges we, we, will, we will create something really interesting and unique okay so 
Um, you, have you ever tried this? When you are walking on carpeted floor and you're rubbing and dragging your foot and suddenly you have a buildup of static electricity. When you touch a doorknob or a table, you get a zap, okay? So that is a clear example of charges, okay? Building up and then by touching anything that is grounded, that is connected to the earth, you actually release and create the balance once again, okay? So these, these are some, here are some of the ways we can use it. For example, I've got an empty, I've got an empty can over here. Okay, so um, please recycle, okay? Say, um, save our resources, uh, help. Um, so this is a very, so that's a uh, very light, okay? There's an empty can and, well, uh, I want to create imbal an imbalance of charges right on this balloon, okay? So right now, as you can see, um, there is nothing. So I'm going to create an imbalance using a, a cloth right over here, okay? A wool cloth. So I'm just going to rub this balloon. Some of you might, might have seen this before, okay? Okay, let me check. Okay, let me see if the the build up. Whoa, it's trying. Look at that. Okay, so the the negative charges build up in the balloon is attracting this coke can, and I am able to move that can magically right there. Okay, so this balloon right now has a lot of negative charges and if you place it onto a wall it will even stick to the wall like that okay no no glue no nothing okay so that is one example of using everyday materials but something very nice and unique and you can find all of these things that oh no it has, still has a lot of charges see that Okay, okay, so that's um, static electricity right over there. Whoa, a lot of static electricity right now. I need to touch the table so that I will get back. Uh, okay, I will have a uh, well balance. I will balance out the charges, okay? So, here's another one. This is, oh, this is all about creating. This is all about creating suspense and drama okay in front of your audience okay so um this is just for safety reason i have an unopened uh fizzy drink can right over here okay so normally everybody i, mean, I think all of you we we all can agree that at one point in our life we like to drink fizzy drinks okay so but if you do this to the fizzy drink ready are you ready for this Three, two, one, shake! Shake the fizzy drink! Shake, give it a nice more shake, yes! Question! Would you want to open the fizzy drink right now? Okay, some of you might be cringing in your seats right now. Is he gonna do it? Well, for the sake of science, I will have to show you what will happen if you shake, okay, your fizzy drinks and then open them. Okay, ready? Here we go. I've got tissue right here. Ready? Three. Oh, this is going to be messy. Three, two, one. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That's going to be. And if you're sitting on your couch somewhere else, your parents will not be very, very happy. Oh. Okay, so that's what happened. Now you might ask, why? Well, the fizzy drinks contain carbon dioxide. Okay, so let me just uh, wipe this off. Okay, let me just, let me show it to you guys. Okay, so let me open a fresh can right over here. Okay, so I won't shake this. Just going to open it carefully. Okay, there you go. See, if you don't shake, nothing's gonna happen now why is shaking causing all of these things let me just drop this into this clear bottle 
making sure I don't disturb the gases so they don't escape. Okay. So, if you guys can see, let me just seal this up. Okay, now this is just a normal baby bottle, but the rubber tip right over here doesn't have a hole. So it will keep everything in place. So what happens if you shake? Oh, there you go. All of this, all of these bubbles right here are trying to escape. They trap, um, they trap uh, liquid as well as, uh, and they're underneath here. So right now, if you try to open this, all of this liquid and bubbles will come out. Okay, but there's another way. Okay, there's another way. I have a fresh can right over here. Fresh soda can. I shake it. Okay, let me just shake it. Maybe your naughty cousin or maybe your older brother. They want to play something funny. They shake your drink. Oh no, what am I going to do? Very, very simple. Okay, take a look at this. All you need to do is release all of this tap water bottle by tapping. Okay, give it a nice tap. Just release all of that trap air bubbles underneath at the side of the can. Okay, so that they rise up to the top. And here we go. Ready for this? Three, two, one. See? The fizzy drink, the fizz was very, very minimal compared to the previous one, okay? I think I should have tapped more, okay? So, the same goes for here. You release all the bubbles, and nothing, okay? Fizzy drinks. So, there is one cool way of using everyday knowledge, okay? Using your audience's... Um, previous experience and create something build up the drama and the suspense okay so and oh by the way if you want to use this please use the no sugar one so it won't get sticky okay so let me just set that aside okay so now i want to also um you can improve on other uh, demonstrations. So next up will be this very age-old demonstration right over here. I've got I got a basin right now. I have a cup. Okay, I have the cup over here, and then there's water inside here. Now, um, those of you who have learned science already, maybe your uh, primary five, primary six, you might have just you might have seen this already. There's water over here. I'll pour the water into the cup. Please don't fall asleep. Okay, I promise you I'll be showing you something new, something exciting. Okay, so right now, if I place a cardboard, it's just a normal cardboard, I place it right over and then I quickly turn, turn it over like this. Okay, all right, now, what do you think is going to happen if I release my left hand? Okay? Now, if I release my left hand... Okay? The cardboard or this flat surface right over here stays in place. Now, why? Well, there are some misconceptions about this. Some of you, some misconception in the past. Some students have told me that, oh, there's a partial vacuum. Okay? Well, that is not really entire, entirely accurate. Okay? The more accurate uh, explanation for this one would be there's a little pocket of air inside. That air pressure is no match for the air pressure around us right now. At normal elevation, okay, there's actually about one kilogram of force acting up per square centimeters of this area right over here, okay? So the force acting on this cardboard the air pressure is greater than the that little air pressure right inside okay but wait there's something very special this is how you can add drama or excitement or maybe audience participation okay so everyone if you just um maybe with the snap of my finger 
something will happen. All the laws of nature will create its balance. Ready? Three, two, one, snap! So, what caused the, the balance and what made the thing drop? Okay, so you might be wondering, oh, I squeezed the cup. There's no way of squeezing. This is a very solid cup right over here. Do you want me to show you the secret? It's a very, very simple secret, okay? So uh, let me just uh, dry this one up. Now the secret is the cup has a little bit of a leak right over there. Can you guys see the leak? I hope you can see the leak, okay? Now that little hole right over there strategically placed, that hole allows me to control the amount of air pressure that goes in and out of the cup. So if I cover that hole, do this experiment once again, okay? As long as that hole is covered right there, as long as the hole is covered right there, the laws of nature is that this cardboard stays right there. But once I release my thumb, just a little bit of movement which the audience cannot see, like that, see that? A little bit of movement, pressure from the outside will go in, pushing everything back down. Okay, gravity takes over and pulls everything back to the center of the earth. Okay, wait, there is more. Okay, so let me show you a second demonstration. Okay, so that is the cup with a leak. How about there's no way of drilling through a hole through a solid piece of glass right over here. Okay, so take a look at the glass. Let me just check. Okay, now focus your attention on top. I'm going to pour the water into the cup. Can you see that? Everybody sees this? Okay. The water is flowing into the cup. And... Is there any leak? There is no leak whatsoever, okay? Now, let's do the same experiment once again. Take a look. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Now. Okay, so how, 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 how am I going to make this demonstration a bit more interesting? Well, take a look at this. Ready? Three, if I take off this cardboard, everything should fall down like this. Three, two, one. You can see the water is still inside right over here. Okay? So what is happening? Is this magic? No, this is not magic. This is science. Okay? Now, oh, Mr. James, there must be something there. Wait, 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 wait. If I tilt. Whoop. The water comes out. So there is a hole right there. Whoop! The water comes out. I trust in science so much, okay, that I can even do this. See that? Nothing. Now, do you want to know the secret of this demonstration? Okay, so let's just let all the water flow out and reveal. Now, as you can see, I don't know if it's very clear, let's take a look. There is a tiny piece of mesh, wire mesh right over here, okay? Now, for the purposes of this video, this mesh is black, so you can see, okay? But, if you find those transparent mesh, okay? That mesh would literally disappear with water, okay? So... This is about water tension, okay? Water tends to hug to the surface. And again, a combination of water tension and the pressure, the atmospheric pressure outside is still greater than the one inside. Remember, okay, up to a kilogram per square centimeter is acting on this mesh right over here. So it keeps the water. But once I tilt, the moment I tilt the water, air pressure enters through the wire mesh equalizing 
the pressure inside therefore the water will drop out if i tilt okay so that is some um, full uh science uh demonstration you can actually see and i want to challenge everyone how are you going to make this more interesting okay how can you improve on the presentation okay that is up to you okay i showed you just uh more some of these um examples okay now finally you your demonstration must be wow okay so um let me just put put this back okay now for my uh final demonstration again this is on air pressure okay so for my final demonstration i have two uh i've got a newspaper right over here just your normal newspaper you can find this and this is your normal wood okay so preferably it's uh you can use soft wood if you want to try this out okay and maybe improve on this demonstration but um if i if i place this wood right at the edge of the table okay so um right now right now i will be this wood is right here okay let me just balance this wood out okay now if i apply a force at this side let's say i want to break this wood into half i apply a force at this side what do you think is going to happen ready have you got your have you, have you got your um results now okay think about what's going to happen if i apply a force right here what do you think is going to happen let's find out shall we three two one whoa the wood didn't break well you might say mr james you have to play something heavy right over here you have to hold it down right very simple but this would be this would be the normal thing to do how can we make this a science busker worthy demonstration well we use science of course and science everyday science using everyday material so comes in the newspaper okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the newspaper to make sure that wood doesn't move now you might be wondering this is james it's very light well that's why i want i want everybody to think that this is impossible right see how light that paper is okay so this paper is very light but anyway let's just move on shall we so keep the paper right here okay i make sure that the paper is nice and flat okay and let's see what will happen okay are you guys ready okay ready nine i hope i can do this okay my hand off the table off the paper there's no one else okay so here we go ready on my mark three two one whoa let's try that again shall we i think i missed okay let's try that again okay let's do it one more time okay make sure the paper is flat ready three two one Ta-da! See that? Did you see the paper move? No. And take a look. No glue, no nothing. The wood literally split into half like that. Okay? So, what is the science behind this? Well, the paper is... Can you see the paper? The very wide surface area right over here. So, once... The paper is flat on the ground. There's literally, remember, atmospheric pressure. There's one kilogram per square centimeter of this paper acting down. So many. And with that, okay, that was enough to actually hold the wood in place. And when I applied the force, it didn't break. Oh, uh, sorry. It broke and it didn't move. The paper did not lift up it's actually very hard to do this okay so that concludes um my 
uh, demonstrations. Okay, these, these are just some tips of the different demonstrations. Okay, so, yep. Let me just keep this one. Okay, so if you can refer back again to the slides. Okay, so um, we've gone through camera contact is also very important. If you can see that I will, oh, I'm always looking at the camera, okay? It's not easy, okay, but you have to train yourself to keep looking at the camera so that you will appear engaging. Now, um, I have a very... We will provide a link to, to this one. It's a short storyboard template. It helps us to plan our videos. Okay, so you can draw uh, how you want to see the camera. Okay, your transition. Okay, so this is a very important tool. You can download this after we we'll provide you the link. Okay, and to continue on, if you see the science busking workshop, you can choose a character. Okay, choose a costume. Okay, and finally, choose an act. If you've got, if you've got a partner with you, you need to come up with creative ways on how to uh, present your busking or your science demonstration, okay? Now, since you're submitting videos, I don't have to tell you to rehearse, right? You don't, you don't, you don't want to submit bad videos, so you have to retake, re-practice -pra everything, okay, so, so that everything is fine and you're satisfied with the video before submitting to us okay and most importantly okay kids i know that um you might get tired doing all the different takes and you will lose uh, interest but please keep your enthusiasm up okay because we the judges we can see through your eyes through your mannerisms okay oh my goodness this presenter is very tired. He's not engaged anymore, okay? So please make sure you're always enthusiastic when you're in front of the camera. Again, avoid jargon. Use everyday um, language that um, everybody can understand, okay? Safety first, and most importantly, please enjoy the journey and making of your videos. Okay, so... Please follow us um, at Science Busker Festival, okay, on Facebook. There is the link right over there. And these are the terms and conditions that you have to agree to if you want to join uh, our competition, the Science Buskers 2020 uh, competition. And now is the most favorite part, okay? Question and answer portion. Now, we've been asking you to give us um, any questions, okay, prior to this live stream and i will uh, actually read out some of these questions uh, given to us okay by okay so okay there is actually one question that is very very um important okay so um one uh some of you asked us to extend so we have actually extended the video submissions okay um two mr james can you how can we do our videos uh um, while maintaining how can we do our how can we do our videos how can we do our videos while maintaining um social distancing okay well if there's three members in your team okay um what I can suggest is that one, either you can you can choose a, a video presentation style wherein you take turns. Okay, so presenter number one, and then the other one is uh, standing maybe one meter apart, either forward or maybe backward. You can go next presentation, then the other one comes forward. Okay, so that is one way of maintaining your one meter safe distancing. Okay or well there's a lot of um apps right now that you can actually um do your demonstrations um uh, using um uh, applications wherein uh there are creative things like you can actually take a video of of your of, of your team members while on a while on zoom for example okay 
So I leave it up to the teams, to the teachers, to the advisors to look at creative ways of presenting, uh, how you can present um, while maintaining maybe social distancing or maybe you are not in the same location, okay? So let me just uh, go through. So one, is it, compul is it compulsory for everyone in the group to perform or act in the video, okay? Well, as I say, um, you can take turns, okay? We would, as much as I want, okay, I want the entire team to actually be part of this journey. But if uh, I know the dynamics of your team, um, it is not compulsory, so please um, share with us how the members, uh, but you have to share with us how the members are actually contributing to this video, okay? So let me just go up. Whoa, so many questions. Well, once again, um, how do we do the video recording with safe distancing in place? Um, any tips? So please adhere to the government guidelines, okay? Find creative ways using um, special apps or um, you could, um, we have, I asked the organizers, okay, and they actually agreed that um, if there, there's three of you and you are doing, and you cannot meet up, you're doing your demonstration at home. You may still uh, take a video of your demonstration, like how they're, uh, how you see uh, um, athletes right now passing the ball, okay? Uh, we, we are actually allowing each individual member doing the demonstration and you're allowed to piece together very, very minor editing, okay? Just piecing together uh, three or four, or four videos, okay, of your team doing the social distancing, maintaining social distancing and not uh, congregating uh, rules, okay? So that is, uh, these are some of the tips that you can actually do, okay? So let's go up. Yes, you may have one week extension. Okay, I have said that already. Do we need to wear masks during the video shooting? Um, I would encourage yes, okay, but you might, you might say, but Mr. James, using a mask will muffle everything and I don't have a professional microphone ready. Okay, so um, if you use, if you use, uh, if you're at home, okay, you're, you're doing a video at home, um, you're recording it, you're maybe you're asking a parent to, to record, you may not use uh, you, a mask since you're in the same household, you're at home. So this is where in, as I say, you can actually um, um, add in or, you know, combine videos together, okay? This is one way if you really, um, you know, if you want, if you, this is one way around how you can not wear a mask during uh, your uh, busking or video presentation, okay? Okay, so let's just go up. Will we be penalized? Will we be penalized if the videos are more than four minutes long? Okay, now, my answer to this is that... Um, it is not necessarily, um, we will not penalize you if it's not, if it's within like maybe, for example, 30 seconds, okay? If it's within 30 seconds and it's not in any way will give you an advantage in the competition, okay? So we can actually allow that one, okay? So um, again, but please keep it to four minutes, okay? And if it's a few seconds, 30 seconds, we can still allow that as long as that 30 seconds doesn't give you a clear edge or advantage over everyone else. Can we change our group members as the school said that we can only meet if we are from the same class? Yes, you definitely can. Please update your teacher and up, up, let, get your school coordinator or your teacher to update us. Okay, so you can still do that. Will we be able to redo the recording if we make a mistake? Definitely. Please redo the recordings before you submit to us. Okay, remember the... Um, yes, you can submit before you submit. 
by uh, 17 of July. You've got until the 17th of July. You can start today. If you're very enthusiastic, you can start. You have to you have today until the 17th of July. Okay, you can redo, redo, redo. But please send us the final uh, and the perfect video. Okay. Thank you very much for your all these questions. These are videos taken with actual performances, recording of live performances. If we make a video and we have a partner, can we do it separately? Edited together to show the final video. Yes, you can do that. Okay, so as I was saying for, you know, um, if you cannot meet physically, you can still do individual live performances at your home without any mask to to muffle your voice you can record it even with your even with your handphones even okay just make sure you uh, set the settings of your handphone right and you can stitch together these videos okay so you can put together these videos okay do we need to change the performance for audition and another for final round well you do not have to you can submit an improved video on on this one okay so that is our um answer okay you do not have to you can submit an improved video on the same demonstrations for the final round okay well that was in capital letters what if we don't have a team team well as again as i say if you don't have a team one individual can register okay and um uh, califair adults will do the camera for you but all the content must be from you okay so a team could be one individual or up to three can i win two prizes for example champion and voters choice definitely okay if you're the champion of course and it's more likely that you have the best video so it's more likely that a lot of people will click like as well okay so that is a possible scenario so do please do your best aim for more prizes okay can we edit the videos with subtitles before submitting it um yes you can you can add subtitles okay you can add subtitles Can we show the video for our busking act and voice over the video? Well, um, if you are doing, now this scenario is, uh, is still acceptable to us, okay? As long as the, the video is done by your team or your team members, Okay, and you are co commenting on 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 your on your uh, team members' video. Okay, so yes, this is still acceptable. Can we cover multiple topics or only one? You can cover as many topics as you want. Okay, but please bear in mind four minutes. Four minutes. Okay, four minutes. Is it compulsory for everyone in the group to perform or act in the video? Um, it's not really compulsory. Again, one might be a cameraman, but please tell us the contributions of your team member. Maybe you can add a, you can, at the end of your video, you can have like an ending credits. Okay, uh, the cameraman is here. The props guy is under the table. No, sorry, there's no guy under the table. Okay, so uh, I leave it up to your creativity. Okay, so it doesn't have to be that everybody appears on the video. Can we cut out errors from the video like stammering or must it be one whole video? Okay, since we allow the stitching together of videos, um, you can actually do that. You can, you can have simple video editing. Okay, you can have simple video editing. Okay, so um, you can piece together videos from your different tool members um, 
and please but make sure it's not with any professional help or anything okay so we want you guys to learn uh, this very simple video editing as well okay is it okay to use plastic gloves while handling the the three percent hydrogen peroxide okay so um three percent hydrogen peroxide is actually um very is already very mild okay so uh your normal your normal um ppv gloves should be should protect you from this from hydrogen peroxide okay so the rubber gloves also protects you it protects you from bleach and definitely will protect you from from um hydrogen peroxide as well okay now can we change the experiment after we were qualified to the finals uh, yes definitely okay as long as you have time to go through the master class you have enough time okay so definitely you can change your experiment while fire is not allowed may we use electric hot plate to heat things yes okay that is allowed open flame is not allowed but if you're using a heater or maybe if you're using a hair dryer okay there's another way i've just given you an, uh, an example of using heat okay uh you may do so but please uh be very very careful okay make sure you show us that you are handling everything you know hot surfaces you are with cotton gloves that, that prevents the heat from literally um us burning your skin okay do we need to show our face in the video i would want to see your face okay so uh yes please show your face um at least we have evidence that those are your hands doing the video it's not somebody else popular in youtube that is doing the video okay so actually you can take tips from some people that in case you want to go really up close okay you will have uh, your hands are over there or maybe you write a simple note on the demonstration that, that that is actually you doing that demonstration okay so these are some things that you can explore but we would want you uh, we we will want that you know we can see that you are the ones doing the experiment live okay so that that's uh, all the 19 questions okay so um that we can answer i mean that i have over here so the last question was uh, showing your face okay so please uh we we want to see your face okay we need to uh, validate that you are the ones doing the live videos as well okay so um any more questions um let's give it a few seconds um with that there is uh no more questions okay so um don't worry okay this video will be available uh to you to, to you guys and if you refer to the to the presentation okay if you take a look at the presentation once again okay we would like to on behalf of the science center and a star and the science busker team okay we would like to thank you to thank each and every one of you for being with me okay i hope this session was uh was uh informative it was inspiring okay and if you have any more questions please take a look okay if you have any more questions please e email us uh you can call our hotline over there please give us a feedback okay the feedback links are over there okay there's also the qr code right in front of you okay and um with that i will end this um uh, this session once again this has been james from the science center on behalf of a star and the science busker team thank you very much for staying with me i hope it was useful for you guys and see you i will wish to see great um videos of you guys okay so